How you doing? Uh, this is John Zimmerman uh, doing a um, storyboard critique for uh, Daryl Carter and the storyboard uh, for a documentary of um, PCOS. Uh, very interesting. I never heard of that before, but it seems like a system, a, a symptom that uh, a number of people seem to have and don't know that they have it. Um, I think. Um, I, I love the way that it's delivered, um, the way it starts off, but uh, has the music and um, and it's, it's real soothing, and you know it it shows, you know it sh it shows that you know real people, you know someone's house and and a real person who's suffering and um, and I like the way that's delivered. Um, it was. Everything was clear. It was clear to me that because it was someone's testimony, and they were standing there testifying, and and telling their story. And you know, usually when when you have these type of infomercials like that, where where it's health, you know, you'll find someone telling their testimony. Excuse me. You'll find someone telling their uh, their their testimony. Um, about their illness or about their experience and about you know what they want to do to to make a change and to uh to get better or what has helped them get better so um i kind of see you know where you're going with that um so that was clear to me i understood that whole thing and that was uh easy to follow even after you had to do both voices um that was cool what i did with mine i did uh i i I cut and used uh, the voice that I wanted to be different. I kind of gave it an effect, like a like I changed the pitch so that um, it would have to. Cause you know I don't I that's just me. Cause I just don't like that. I w I would like for someone to have a difference. So, um, but that's okay. That's something you can probably you'll th think about in the future. But um, but that was that was okay. Um, the verbal portion was really good. Um, because it was the whole testimony, you, you, you know, you had it all down packed. I mean, that was a lot, you know, that was a lot of script you had there. Um, and the visual style, I could follow it because it, it was some familiar. I mean, you know, you had the simple set and background, like it was someone's home and they were testifying and, and that was, that was real simple, real easy. Um, I think that we're. The only thing you could have improved, which wouldn't have been too difficult, was maybe change the camera angles. So I know she's that she's standing there and she's she's doing her testimony. Maybe you could have changed from a medium to a close up. And then maybe a side angle of her face. And that's basically it. You could have kept it in between those three shots. And you could have just been rotating between those three shots, just to give it, so just just to give the the visual some movement, and and I think that would have worked. <laughs> um, and I think as far as that, that's probably the only thing that I think I would that I would change. Um, everything else is is out of vision, so you know the vision seems pretty basic and and pretty easy to follow. I don't see why that needed to change um or or you know if anything needed to be better i think that would be it just to have different types of camera angles because it was you know she was talking for a long time and i think that you know you could have done that that would have worked um i think um overall uh, the concept and everything of the visuals kind of fit the pitch, like I said before. So, I mean, all that worked. Um, I I think that, uh, if, yeah, I think if anything that you would change, it would just would be that, just the angles to keep it uh, just a little simple. Um I think the script was, was is is so good because it was so 
it was it was it was a nice long testimony and it was and it was um it and it felt real and it felt like something that somebody lived lived with and lived through so um that's something I think that that you can uh, use well and um I don't think I wouldn't change that uh I would I would keep it the way it is because you can't tell someone they should I mean you can but that's somebody's experience, you know. So I think he did a great job there. So Daryl, um, keep up the good work. Um, that'd be the only thing I would change is those long shots. Um, just make sure you just change up some angles, some cutaways, angles and cutaways. Change different angles of her. Has some cutaways. Keep some movement going. Don't keep the camera on that same shot that whole long time. You probably know that. Um, I know because of the, doing a whole bunch of storyboards and, and, you know, we're not, you know, not all of us are artists to be able to do that. So I know, you you know, I know, I, I, I know you probably are thinking the same thing, but uh, great work. And, um, and I'll be looking forward to seeing, you know, you know, seeing the results of it. So thanks again. You inspired me for what, how you set it up, how you had the music in the background. Um, I was thinking about putting music in there um, on mine, but <laughs> at the last minute I forgot. So, um, you know, I wish I did because uh, yours, yours kind of was impressive with that. So keep up the good work and, um, and I'll be looking forward to seeing more of your, more of your work. Thank you, man. And good luck. John Zerman and uh, critiquing uh, Daryl Storyboard. Thank you.